Bugs Bunny's Halloween special is quite a fun idea. This was released in 1977 and it combines a bunch of classic Warner Brothers cartoons that have a spooky theme to them with some new animation thrown in there as well. And to be honest, I know I really enjoyed it. I did watch it um, having already seen all of those clips independently at some point over the last year or so. And I enjoyed watching the clips in a new way because they're actually edited um, and kind of mixed up a little bit. So it's not just the clips in order. They are chopped and changed a little bit. You're never quite sure what clip is going to appear next. But I do feel like some of it was forced. Some of the editing felt forced. The segues between scenes didn't feel very effective. And a couple of the characters just only appear in kind of like one or two shorts and they feel forced. They feel like they've been shoehorned in. But because I'm a big fan of Halloween cartoons and spooky animations, I liked it anyway. So the cartoons that it includes, we have some um, Witch Hazel cartoons. Uh, we have A Haunting We Will Go, Broomstick Bunny, um, A Witch's Tangled Hair and Bewitched Bunny, all of which are great fun. We have a couple of Jekyll and Hyde themed ones, Hide and Hair, which is... Bugs Bunny made perfect sense. Most of them are Bugs Bunny. We also have a hide and go tweet, which is a Jekyll and Hyde themed one with Sylvester and Tweety. And when those scenes were um, presented, that felt forced. Because we're changing character, um, it just didn't feel as natural as when the Bugs Bunny clips are all mixed and matched. And I wouldn't say I hate it, but it did feel a little bit clunky. We also have Clothes for Alarm, which... Um, is Porky and Sylvester and I really like that cartoon I think it's a lot of fun but again those characters because it's not all Bugs Bunny it just it felt a little out of place and um, we also have Scaredy Cat which is another Porky and Sylvester um Transylvania 6 5000 and um I believe that's it now we do have Daffy Duck in here as well but those those clips kind of felt a bit more natural they felt like Bugs Bunny and Daffy were in the same kind of scenes and I guess it's because they all involved Witch Hazel whereas the ones that included Porky and, and Sylvester and Tweety weren't Witch Hazel cartoons so the settings were different, the characters were different, they didn't really intertwine very effectively but I didn't hate it, that's not enough to put me off of it but it's just something that I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about I like the fact that there were some surprise clips in there that I hadn't expected because I didn't look at the list before I watched it but at the same time, it took me by surprise so far that it just felt awkward. So I'm on the fence. I can see the benefit, but also I kind of wish it had been a bit shorter with just the Bugs Bunny and a little bit of Daffy Duck cartoons. And it would have felt more natural and made a lot more sense. Mel Blanc obviously voices um, most of the characters. Um, we also have June Foray and B Banana Ray as Witch Hazel. And um, the female bunny, who I think is, is delightful and she's a lot of fun as a character. So I liked it. If you're a fan of spooky Warner Brothers and you like Halloween themed cartoons, Bugs Bunny's Halloween special is definitely worth watching. It's not perfect. It feels a little forced sometimes, but generally I really enjoyed it.